What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get Yalu to be automatically signed or automatically re-signed each and every week without you using any computer. In order to do that, we're going to use a modified version of the CDI extender. Now, this one is a new version. It's modified. It has a couple of new features. So it's completely different from the one on the um, end universe repo. So if you have that one, uninstall it and install this one in here. Let's go ahead and, um, and and see what you need to do. But first, you need to keep in mind that for the moment, this version requires you to have the original Yalu installed. So this one uh, in here with the white, it doesn't work with the uh, forks like Yalu Dark or Yalu Blue and so on. Hopefully, the developer will add support for it. So you should keep that in mind. Let me uh, show you exactly what you need to do in order to install it. At first, of course, you need to go in Cydia. And uh, you should keep in mind, if you already have the extender, any extender version installed, you should first uninstall that, because this one is a completely modified version. And uh, of course, let Cydia do its thing, install any updates if it appears, and I'm going to go here to sources, because you need to add the following source in here. It's going to be on the screen, it's repo.insendo.ws. It's going to be also in the description and on the screen. After you, inst you install it or you add it, you go ahead here on all packages, scroll a little bit and you're going to find extender reloaded you're going to go in here and as you can see it says your ios version is supported now it supports ios 10.0 to 10.2 of course the compatible with yalu and um, what is different compared uh, ma making the comparison from this one extender reloaded to the original one created by soric or the one available on the end universe well it is different on the design itself but what is uh, okay about it is that it automatically resigns, but also the credentials, your Apple ID and your password are being saved on the keychain, which is where iOS saves its um, username and passwords by default. If you if you don't remember, the previous application, the previous extender, modified extender with automatic resign had actually a problem. The password was actually exposed on the settings page, which was not good. This one changes that. Let me show you how to install it. You click modify, you click install, and uh, keep that in mind. You need to have already installed the Yalu because it's going to search for Yalu on the um, on the device. As you can see, it takes some time because it's going to download a couple of files. It's going to download 18 megabyte of file. And uh, then it's going to try to search for Yalu 102 uh, application to be already installed. It's going to form the IPA and try to resign. Of course, you're going to need uh, to sign into your Apple ID account, but it doesn't have to be a developer account. This is one of the good things. And uh, it doesn't have to be paid account. You should keep that in mind. So um, as you can see, it's extracting CDI extender, signing binaries. Now, uh, another thing you should keep in mind is that if you have any other tweak for uh, re-signing applications and so on, you should probably disable it as it might interfere with this app. As you can see, it's now uh, completely installed. Okay. And it's going to ask us for a uh, respring, most likely. So we're going to, to give it a respring and be right back. Alright, so after you install it and respring, you're going to have the normal icon of the extender available on the screen of the device. But when you open it, it's completely different. Well, this, this uh, page is the same, but if you go ahead in here, you can see that you have the, um, the yellow thing. It says signed 26 minutes ago. And then if you go ahead here on more, as you can see, you have the Apple ID section. Now, of course, I can sign out because I already signed it in in order to skip that process. But as you can see, it's no longer showing the password right in here. The previous version of the CDI extender that I know, probably the one from End Universe, used to show you Apple ID and the password in clear text in here, which was not good. Now, of course, I would recommend you not to use your Apple ID and your normal Apple ID if you're skeptical like I am. Uh, although the application looks, of course, safe and it says your password will only be sent to Apple, you can use a throwaway Apple ID as I made uh, one in here, test drive 3 at fctran65.info. Um, I'm using the uh, throwaway email address just to make sure that nothing happens to my official Apple ID. So you should keep that in mind. If you're not um, actually trusting the application, you can use a throwaway Apple ID. Then you have the automatic uh, resigning. This is where the magic begins. As you can see, I, I have already checked this because you can do that. 
and um, you can select how much time you want to pass before a resign. And by default, it's two days, but two days will cause an application to get resigned, um, uh, and it's actually is going to cause it to get resigned after two days, which is now nah, it's a little bit too um, too early. So I'm going to set five days. I'm going to set five days, and after each five days, the application will be resigned using my Apple ID in here. This is actually pretty okay with Apple because you can uh, resign it uh, every week. So it's going to be pretty damn cool. And you have it installed in here. And of course, you can uh, you can resign each IPA that you sideload. It doesn't only work with Yalu. Any IPA that you have can be resigned in this method. And this is actually your lot. Um, when you're going to install the extender first time, it's going to send you a notification telling you that you need to authenticate. And after you do that, of course, you can uh, we can be relaxed because it's going to resign everything without any computer, as you can see. Okay, so we got an error in here, let me see. You already have a current iOS development certificate or a pending certificate request. Now, this is very good that we got this error because I'm going to show you how to fix it. I'm going to go ahead in here and go to more and you need to go to advanced. If you have problems like this, you're going to auto revoke certificate and then on troubleshooting, you can revoke certificate. Click revoke and it should fix the error. Now, this error might occur from time to time because it's normal as you might have certificates that were um, issued. As you can see, two certificates were, re uh, were revoked and you should receive an email shortly. Okay, so um, as you can see, this is how you fix that error in case it appears. This is why I like the extender. It comes with a very, very much of uh, a tool into it. It contains more than a simple signer. It has revoking, it has authentication, which is protected by the keychain and so on. This is definitely pretty cool. So the repo is in the description down below. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.